I'm going to show you how to use your AlphaTrack 2 to monitor your diabetic pet's blood glucose levels. Now, AlphaTrack 2 is just for monitoring blood glucose levels. Your veterinarian will determine the proper amount of insulin to administer and teach you how to do so. But I'll walk you through the testing for blood glucose levels and how to use AlphaTrack 2. Before we get started, it's a good idea to register your product. You can do that at alphatrack.com. You can also download the Pet Dialog app, which allows you to track readings, create insulin reminders, and send data to your veterinarian. It is a really helpful tool, and I highly recommend you get it, and it's free. Finally, if you have any questions, you can call this number and get live one-on-one -on -one assistance. Okay, let's get into how to actually use the AlphaTrack 2. Don't forget, you can always refer to your user guide or AlphaTrack website for more information. Your starter kit comes with everything you need to get going. Here's a demo. On the AlphaTrack 2 meter, the M button helps you move through different settings and scrolls backwards. The C button marks a control solution test, scrolls forward, and helps change other settings. The test strip port is where you insert the AlphaTrack 2 test strip to turn the meter on during the test. Remember, you can only use AlphaTrack 2 test strips with the AlphaTrack 2 meter. Before you can do a test, you have to set up the sound, time, and date. With the meter off, press and hold the M button for three seconds until set appears. Press M again to bypass the optional reminder alarms. You can set these up at a later time. Before setting the sound, note that with the sound on, the meter will beep when the test strip has enough blood. The test result appears on the display or an error occurs. To set the sound, press the C button. For no sound, press the C button again until you see this. For a low beep, press until you see this. And for a louder beep, press the C button until you see this. Once you have selected a volume, press the M button to save. You can set the time in either 12 hour or 24 hour formats. To set, press C to display the correct hour and M to save. To set the minutes, Press C again to display the correct minute and then M to save. Press M to accept time format or save a change. The date can be displayed in either month, day, year, or day, month, year formats. The month first, press C and display the correct month and M to save it. Press C again to select the day and M to save it. You can set the year the same way. Now to save all your settings, press and hold down the M button for three seconds until the meter turns off. Once the meter is set up, you'll need to perform an AlphaTrack control solution test. The control solution test should be done when you first buy your AlphaTrack starter kit, every time you buy new strips, or when you're questioning the accuracy of the reading. The control solution is a red liquid containing a fixed amount of glucose. It's a good way to practice and to make sure the meter and test strips are working together properly. To begin, check the solution's expiration date. Be sure to throw it away three months after the first use. Get a strip and close the vial cap. Putting a strip into the meter turns it on. The butterfly on the strip always faces up and like it's flying into the meter port. Make sure you see this screen. If you don't, contact Zoetis Customer Care at this number. Now it's time to code the meter. When the code appears, use button C to scroll forward and M to scroll backward until the number matches the appropriate dog or cat code on your AlphaTrack 2 test strip vial. Make sure the tip is clean by discarding a few drops. Apply the control solution until you see this screen or hear a beep. This means the meter got enough solution and is now processing. If a short line doesn't appear after five seconds, the sample may be too small. You can add more control solution to the same side of the test strip within 60 seconds. Compare the results to the range printed on the test strip vial or on the package insert. It should fall within that range. And it does. Now press and hold the C button for two seconds until this symbol appears on the display to mark the results as a control solution result. Remove the strip to turn the meter off, and that's it. Your AlphaTrack blood glucose monitoring system is now ready to use.